Hello, it's Green Cosplay again. I just finished crafting a walking cane for Cosbreaker, a character from Leigh Bardugo's Grishaverse book series. I'm making a Cos cosplay based on the book Six of Crows, so it's my own design, not the character you can see in the TV series, for example. I thought it would be fun and nice to make a video about the making progress, although just to let you know here, I'm still very much a noob when it comes to prop making, so this is not a tutorial per se, more like a vlog to show what I did and all that. I started by painting the cane pot black. I used this water-based acrylic paint. Then I had to make a pattern for the handle. Kaos has a metallic handle in his cane, shaped like a crow head. And I used a couple of different designs and other reference pictures to determine the shape, decorations and size. I used tin foil to make the base, just made a general shape of a bird head, careful not to make it too big. Then I started adding layer by layer this air drying Fimo clay on it. I'm not really familiar working with clay, so I was a bit nervous of how this would turn out. After I got the hang of it though, it was really really fun. I also realized very quickly that I should attach the foil on the cane somehow, because it was moving around way too much. I first thought that I'm just gonna use the clay on the bottom of the head to attach it on the cane part, but it didn't really hold so I just used hot glue gun and it did the job. I didn't film this but just to let you know a side note here. Molding the head took me around 3 hours, so it did take some time but it wasn't that bad. I'm actually kind of surprised that it didn't take that longer and I'm really happy how it turned out. I wanted the head to resemble a bird skull, but not exactly, kind of more like a in-between of a bird head and a skull. I also wanted some decorative elements to it, so I made this leaf or vine-like curls. I also added some texture around the eyes and the quote-unquote nose parts, because one of the reference pictures had it and I really liked it. I didn't want the decorations and the design itself be too flashy, because Kaz is not really a flashy person, he doesn't really like bling or anything that much, unlike the other dregs, for example. After the head was completely dry, it was time to paint. I used the silver metallic paint, just like the black one, this is also water-based. It has a very nice shimmer, and it's surprisingly very well covering. I added a second layer, mixed with a hint of black paint to make it a bit more toned down. And then another part that I was a bit nervous about, weathering. It's kind of interesting that I have been cosplaying for six years now and I have never done weathering before. <laughs> Good thing that I've seen so many Rachel Makes This videos that I had the general idea of what I was doing, maybe, or at least what I wanted to achieve. I used the same black paint as I used for the stick part, just used as dry brush as I could and added the paint to all the details, shapes and crevices, then used a piece of fabric to rub off all the excess and then after that blended everything with silver paint. Turns out, weathering is super fun, by the way. <laughs> I'm really happy how the head turned out, it really added the shadows and details to it. After weathering, I added a final, very light coat of that silver paint, just to add a little bit more glow, and the head was done. To determine a proper length of the cane, I made a couple of Google searches and found this guide. It's actually a shop that sells walking canes, and they had a couple of different methods you can use to measure a perfect length of your cane. 
and I ended up using this one. So what I did, I put on the shoes I'm going to use as cuz, stood up with a good relaxed posture and let my arms fall to my sides naturally and relaxed. I then asked my grandmother to measure the length from floor to my wrist. My measure ended up being 90 centimeters. Then I just measured and cut the cane and I also sanded the bottom a little bit to give it a bit more shape and finished look. Here you can see the before and after lengths. I think what you want is to have a slight bend to your elbow and it looks good and natural. I think this guide was pretty good. I'm going to put a link into my description for those who are interested. And then the accident happened. I painted two more coats of black paint on the stick part and after adding the second layer, unfortunately, the cane fell to the ground and the bird had cracked. I was determined to fix it and I started by gluing the damaged area as well as I could. After that, I glued them more together with clay and tried to make everything as smooth as possible. I think this worked pretty well. Here is the handle after repairing. Then I just repainted and weathered the area again and I can confidently say you can't really see that the head broke. After all that stress and panic, I finished the cane with two coats of Mod Podge and the cane was complete. So this is how my bird head walking cane for Casper turned out. I hope this was fun to watch. Thank you so much for watching and take care.